loved ones painted a memorial to Christopher Chubb Yancey on this East Baltimore block where he'd lived his entire life. On Friday, police say Yancey's estranged wife, Anita Jones, stabbed him to death as the two were alone inside a room in Johns Hopkins ICU, arguing over medical treatment for their 14-year-old son. This is his community, our community, all in one. He was well-loved, man. Yancey's brother says the family's trying to raise money for his 10 children, including his daughter, who wears a T-shirt with pictures of her dad. She turned 16 over the weekend. Just that I miss them, that was it. That's it, and I love him. My hope for his kids is that they stay strong. He got a strong family. He got strong friends and neighbors. Family members say the two had argued before inside the hospital and had a volatile incident a week ago. That dispute became so heated they both got kicked out. Yancey's brother wonders whether hospital security could have stopped them from visiting at the same time. After they'd been put out early that, early that week, they still had them together. Any commotion with any family members for the safety of the patients and the safety of their staff, why didn't you call security ASAP? Hopkins called it an isolated incident and said at no time were patients, staff, or other visitors in danger. That world-class facility treats hundreds of thousands of patients a year, and we don't have things like this happen. While these incidents are rare, seven years ago, a man got upset at his mother's treatment at Hopkins and shot her doctor before killing himself.